Everything you need to know about Apple new chips. Embark on a transformative expedition into the heart of innovation, unraveling the enigma of Apple's latest chips. Discover a world where technology knows no bounds and exploration leads to empowerment. Elevate your tech knowledge with exclusive insights delivered straight to you. Stay one step ahead in the ever-changing landscape of tech advancements. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. Subscribe now to stay informed, connect with fellow enthusiasts, and join the remarkable evolution that's shaping our digital future. In the span of the last couple of years, Apple has undertaken a remarkable and comprehensive overhaul of its Mac product range, executing a strategic departure from the long-standing collaboration with Intel in favor of the integration of their proprietary in-house processors. This strategic pivot has endowed Apple with the liberty to embrace a more assertive approach towards both the physical aesthetics and the operational capabilities of their computers. However, amid this transformative journey, a certain degree of intricacy and perplexity has inevitably arisen, causing a subtle ripple of bewilderment amongst consumers and industry observers alike. In the progression from the groundbreaking M1 to the subsequent iterations like the M1 Pro, M1 Max, M1 Ultra, and the emerging M2, the task of distinguishing between these iterations has grown notably challenging. To unravel this complexity, a systematic clarification is essential, commencing with the M1. As the inaugural chip in this series, the M1 marked a pivotal moment and presently operates as Apple's foundational offering. This chip finds its presence across an extensive array of Mac models, encompassing the sleek MacBook Air, the compact Mac Mini, and the vibrant iMac. Through this strategic placement, Apple has established the M1 as its entry-level chip, accessible to a broad spectrum of users seeking a blend of performance and efficiency. Although the M1 chip may not claim the top spot in terms of performance within the lineup, its significance cannot be overlooked. In a striking comparison to the Intel processor it succeeded, the M1 managed to outshine its predecessor by a considerable margin, primarily attributed to its remarkable enhancement in performance per watt. This metric, which gauges the quantity of energy a processor expends during its operational tasks, underwent a substantial transformation. The outcome was a marked improvement in efficiency that translated into superior graphics rendering and processing capabilities, all the while demonstrating a propensity for diminished power consumption and reduced heat generation. This pivotal shift not only elevated the overall functionality of the devices housing the M1 chip, but also set a new benchmark for optimizing the balance between computational prowess and energy management. A mere year down the line, the evolutionary trajectory of the M1 chip witnessed a significant advancement with the introduction of its successors, namely the M1 Pro and M1 Max. Distinctly larger, these iterations incorporated a multitude of enhancements that encompassed a notable increase in the number of processing and graphics cores, a substantial augmentation in memory, bandwidth velocity, the integration of cutting-edge media engines, and an appreciable expansion in available memory capacity. The overarching objective of these innovations was clear, to propel the performance of the M1 to an elevated echelon. The outcome of this endeavor was indeed commendable, as the new chip succeeded in elevating the performance prowess of the M1 to a substantially heightened level. However, this leap in performance was not without its trade-offs. The progression came at a certain cost, both in financial terms and about heat and power efficiency. The monetary investment required to access these advanced iterations was notably greater, reflecting the technological enhancements they encapsulated. Simultaneously, the augmented capabilities of the M1 Pro and M1 Max, while impressive, brought about heightened thermal requirements and energy consumption, which impacted the overall thermal management and power efficiency characteristics that had been intrinsic to the M1's design ethos. As with many advancements in technology, the introduction of these potent iterations was a delicate interplay between bolstered performance and the ensuing considerations in terms of cost and resource utilization. The evolution from the M1 to the M1 Pro and M1 Max brought forth a pivotal shift that necessitated the integration of a more robust cooling infrastructure. This upgraded cooling mechanism demanded additional spatial allocation within the computer's architecture to effectively manage the escalated heat generated by the augmented processing and graphics capabilities of these advanced iterations. Furthermore, the enhanced performance of the M1 Pro and M1 Max came at the expense of an increased power requirement. 
leading to a swifter depletion of battery reserves. These specific considerations and trade-offs were pivotal in determining the deployment strategy of these higher-performing chips. Notably, the MacBook Air refrained from incorporating the M1 Pro and M1 Max due to a blend of design and practical constraints. The sleek form factor of the MacBook Air, devoid of cooling fans for heat dispersion and endowed with a relatively diminutive battery, posed significant challenges in accommodating the heightened thermal demands and power consumption of these advanced iterations. Consequently, the decision to exclude the M1 Pro and M1 Max from the MacBook Air was a measured one, acknowledging the importance of preserving the thin and fanless design aesthetic while maintaining optimal battery longevity. This strategic maneuver underscores the intricate balance that exists between technological progress, form factor constraints, and the overarching user experience. In response to the limitations posed by the sleek MacBook Air, Apple strategically harnessed the capabilities of the M1 Pro and M1 Max chips in the context of an updated MacBook Pro. This revised MacBook Pro, boasting increased dimensions in terms of thickness, size, and weight, was engineered to accommodate the inherent requirements of the M1 Pro and M1 Max. Equipped with two fans, additional air vents, and a more sophisticated cooling system, this iteration facilitated optimal heat dissipation, ensuring the sustained performance of the advanced chips. Furthermore, the larger physical dimensions of the MacBook Pro allowed for the inclusion of an expanded battery, counteracting the augmented power consumption associated with the enhanced processing and graphics capacities. In the domain of desktop computing, where the constraints of battery life and power efficiency were comparatively less restrictive, Apple could channel more power into the M1 Max chip. This led to a substantial doubling of power consumption, resulting in a profound elevation in performance capabilities. This engineering feat was realized through the amalgamation of two M1 Max chips, ingeniously fused to form the M1 Ultra, a culmination of power and performance. The M1 Ultra was unveiled this year alongside the new Mac Studio, catering to the demands of a professional user base seeking unparalleled computational prowess. By this juncture, the M1 MacBook Air had already enjoyed a two-year tenure in the market, accompanied by a design that had persisted for four years. In a resounding response to this trajectory, Apple embarked on a momentous undertaking to revamp the MacBook Air culminating in its most extensive update to date, unveiled just last month. This revamp entailed the introduction of a more compact chassis, a generously sized display, and a revolutionary chip named the M2. This new iteration not only invigorated the MacBook Air with contemporary design elements, but also infused it with the formidable processing might of the M2 chip, symbolizing Apple's relentless pursuit of innovation and improvement. The nomenclature of the M2 chip might intuitively suggest an unparalleled pinnacle of power compared to its M1 predecessors. However, Apple's strategy deviates from such a linear progression. The M2 chip represents an evolutionary step forward from the preceding M1 iteration, incorporating enhancements and refinements without necessarily surpassing the performance benchmarks set by the M1 Pro Max and Ultra. The triumvirate of the M1 Pro Max and Ultra stands resolute as the pinnacle of power, redefining the landscape of sheer computational might. However, to seamlessly transition beyond this zenith, Apple's trajectory naturally dictates the introduction of further strides in the form of an M2 Pro, M2 Max, and M2 Ultra. This evolutionary roadmap embraces the notion that progress is an ever-evolving journey, with each iteration serving as a stepping stone toward greater heights of technological prowess. As we await the formal revelation of these anticipated iterations, their impending debut holds a promising aura, buoyed by Apple's unwavering dedication to the ongoing enhancement and progression of its computer lineup. The resonance of this likelihood stems from Apple's resolute commitment to the ethos of perpetual refinement and forward momentum. This intriguing scenario captures the essence of the present trajectory charted by Apple's M-Chip series. It serves as an emblematic illustration of the dynamic cadence that defines the realm of technological evolution and innovation within the domain of semiconductor design and performance. This unfolding narrative underscores the constant ebb and flow of advancements as well as the unremitting pursuit of pushing boundaries, thereby reshaping the contours of possibility. Seize the opportunity to stay at the forefront of the technological revolution.
delve deep into the fascinating realm of Apple's revolutionary chips, where innovation knows no bounds. Whether you're a tech aficionado, an avid learner, or a curious explorer of cutting edge advancements, our channel is your ultimate gateway to all things Apple chips. With a commitment to providing you with comprehensive insights, timely updates, and expert analysis, we're here to fuel your curiosity and empower your tech journey. Don't let the tide of innovation pass you by. Subscribe to our channel now and immerse yourself in the ever-evolving world of Apple's groundbreaking chip technology. Your journey to tech enlightenment starts here.